It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and this is for the week of October 12th through the 19th. So this will basically be like a new moon reading. So the 12th through the 19th for Sagittarius. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the New Moon Energy, week of October 12th through the 19th. V, Victory. Victory in some endeavor. So you're going to be victorious in something. June. June may be prominent. Some may, Something may have started in June of this year. Or something may be coming to fruition in June of 2021. Pineapple. Reconciliation. So there's going to be some sort of reconciliation here for you. Now, reconciliation can be with anybody, okay? It can be with anybody that you have had a riff with. You've had a riff with this person, now there's going to be a reconciliation. It could also be with somebody that, uh, well, it's obviously somebody that you separated from. There's going to be a coming together with that person again. Um, very interesting. So what do we have for Sagittarius? June is prominent. Either it's the month um, that there's gonna that this reconciliation is gonna happen, or something started in June. This person could be born in June. Um, something to do with the month of June. What do we have for Sagittarius? The High Priestess, highly intuitive. Aware, high awareness, very receptive. Very spiritual. We have a very spiritual being here who is receiving messages. Oh, Queen of Wands reversed. Now the Queen of Wands reversed is... Could be your energy, okay? The Queen of Wands, Wands Reverse is somebody that is hysterical, throws tantrums, is very forceful and overly competitive, unhealthy, self-righteous. So if you're taking on that energy, you need to get back. You know, this is about soul. You you need to get uh, heal your soul. Heal your soul. Uh, this is angry. Okay, we have angry, but this is about soul searching. You may be soul searching this month or reconnecting with your inner self, reconnecting with your subconscious, right? I mean, the Queen of Wands reverse is a fire sign, which is you that is being, uh, you know, out of control. You know, you may have to... Uh, Go within. I mean, the high priestess is an energy of uh, going within, uh, re-identifying yourself, setting goals, you know, working on your spirituality. So I feel like this month it is something that you really need to do. Um, there's some sort of anger inside of you that needs to be healed, and I think, and I, and a lot of people are going to get triggered by that. Okay, but that's what I see. Okay. In order for you to heal it, you've got to dig deep. You've got to get dig deep. You've got to listen to your intuition, okay? Don't try to force things. If you're trying to force outcomes, all that's going to do is push people away from you, okay? Um, I think that you need some time alone. Time alone to heal from some sort of animosity. You can't force things. So there's something you've been trying to force that you need to stop trying to force, which is interesting. Three of Wands reversed. Now this is something not working out. 
something isn't working out, there's something isn't happening in your favor, you can't force it to happen. And I think that's why there's anger here. Three of Wands reverse. This is lack of foresight. And it is. There's lack of vision here. It's like you're receiving messages. You're receiving um, messages from a higher power, but you're not listening to them. Anyhow, um, this is lack of foresight, wasting time, trying to force something. It's not, there's impatience here. You gotta be patient. You need to wait. You don't wanna wait. There's a reason why you have to wait because you're developing. You're developing. You're going through a spiritual download, you know? And it's like you're trying to ignore it. You can't ignore it. It's interesting, but you're not just not seeing what is happening. This is all happening for a reason, but you're trying to uh, push this along. Stop trying to push it. You're pushing things that shouldn't be pushed. And this is like, nobody's going to tell me. I know some of you're not going to tell me. Okay, well, that's the kind of attitude you have. Then you're going to lose. There's a delay here. There's a delay in you getting what you've been waiting for because you're in such a hurry. Because you're not wanting to uh, deal with the process. There's a process that is involved. Empress, you may have something to do with a mother. We have a mother here. A mother that is all about love. This mother... Um, is tender, loving care. She loves unconditionally. We have a very spiritual individual here. Maybe it's your mother. Maybe your mother really loves you. Um, maybe you need to take care of yourself. Maybe you need to nurture yourself. Maybe you need to listen to yourself. You know what I mean? And I think that you've been doing that, right? And, and that could be a problem is that you're just listening to yourself. Maybe there's a woman in around you that is very experienced that has some sort of, uh, this person is spiritual, this person is um, gifted, this person can help you, can help you to heal. But it feels like you don't want to listen. It feels like you don't want to listen to anybody and that's why you're experiencing delays in your life. It is a time of rebirth. It is time for a new life for you, but this new life comes with listening and it comes with uh, dealing with pain, accepting pain and not reacting to it in a harsh manner. And I feel like you have been reacting to pain in a harsh manner. If you, if you, if you want things to come to you effortlessly, you have to be gentle. You have to be kind. You have to be loving. And I feel like you've been very uh, pushy. It feels like pushy. Impatient. Okay. Everything happens at the right time. So anyway, this empress is the birth of a new life. Okay. So this is a rebirth. It is starting over. But this, this happens after pain. You don't, you don't uh, have a rebirth without pain. Okay, and you are going through a period of rebirth. I see that you are. This is like a spiritual evolution that you are going through. You're ascending. You're ascending to a higher level. Okay, you're becoming very, very spiritual. Abundance is coming for you. Okay, rest assured that it is. But there, it will continue to be delayed until you change your attitude. You have to change your attitude. I, have, I see a shitty attitude here, and I'm being honest with you. This is unhealthy behavior. Fight, 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 fight. Five of Wands. Five of this is this is like an all-out war. This is a full-scale battle. But I feel like you've reached a point where you're exhausted and you're fed up. And the other people that you are dealing with are exhausted and fed up. This is about finding solutions. Now you may have a woman, a motherly figure that can, ha that can help you. That 
has some sort of solutions because this is cooperating. This is finding solutions. This is the end of a battle. It's the end of conflict. So I do feel like the conflict is going to be ending. You're going to be starting a new life where there is a lot of love, where there is a lot of support. Somebody loves you unconditionally. You may not have been seeing it. There's lack of vision here. Lack of vision, lack of vision. Your lack of foresight. You haven't been seeing it. And you may, you've, somebody's been fighting, 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 fighting. Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to have a relationship with you. They want this relationship to grow. But fighting isn't going to help. It's not going to help. I think that uh, you are very intuitive at this time. I think you are going through a period of growth. I think your new life is coming. But as long as you keep fighting it, it's just going to cause more and more and more delays. This is about being kind and gentle and loving. It's kind of like a mother and a child. You need to treat people like you would treat a newborn baby. Treat your friends. Treat your family. Treat people on the street. Treat your enemies like a newborn baby. Would you treat a newborn baby the way that you treat other people? at this point unconditional love no judgment be gentle be kind they say you you it's something about honey i don't know the saying but uh i don't know the saying but i know what it is i got it right on the tip of my tongue you, 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 I don't know what it is, but you have to be nice. That's what I'm trying to say. Being snippy and snappy and angry and upset and melodramatic and throwing tantrums and saying mean words to people and laughing at people is not going to help your situation. Anyway, I do feel like somebody wants to have a relationship with you. You're going to be getting an offer. Somebody is maybe trying to help you. Okay, this could be an intuitive, could be a tarot reader, could be a medium, could be a psychic. I don't know who it is. Somebody has some sort of uh, advice for you. They can help you to get out of this very competitive mindset. Extremely competitive the competitiveness, you know, is your biggest downfall. And I know that competitiveness can be healthy, but at this point, it's not healthy. Anyhow, I feel like you, somebody is going to be offering you something, okay? They're going to be offering you some sort of help. They may even be advice. Why are you fighting? Why are you fighting? You know, don't fight. Anyway, there is an offer coming in. Somebody wants to have a relationship with you, but you've been acting on your feelings. So you've been acting on your feelings, letting your feelings show. You need to manage your feelings. Somebody is coming in. If you are the Sagittarius male watching this and you are single, you may have you may meet somebody, you know, at exactly the right time. And this could be it feels like I don't know. Somebody is coming to help you. It's almost like they're coming to the rescue.
You may not see it. You may not see it. But somebody really, really, really loves you. You're going to be taking a journey this week. You, this is about mastering your emotions. You're going to, and this is victory. So you are going to be victorious in some situation today. Um, today. I don't know about today. But this week, something is going to happen that, that goes in your favor. Okay? You're about to receive. This is a blessing. This is a gift. This is a miracle. It's like there's a mother or a grandmother or a motherly figure here. I'm not sure exactly who it is that is coming to help you. You know, you're not going to see it. This is lack of foresight. You don't see it. You're, you're missing something. You're missing an opportunity because of, I mean, this is anger. It is anger. You're, this is like spitefulness. This is a card of transformation. It's a card of finding the willpower, controlling your emotions, using self-discipline and self-control. Putting in effort to deal with opposition, going for a ride, going someplace. You're going to be going someplace. This does lead to victory. It does lead to success. So you're going to be going someplace. You're going to be getting some help from somebody. Could be a nurse. Could be a counselor. There's definitely an offer, an invite coming. My advice is to take it. Take this offer. It's a good offer. It can bring you abundance. This is the beginning of a new life if you take the offer. So you're going to be getting an offer or an invite that, you know, can really... Uh, grow into something abundant. It can grow into perfect health, optimal health, abundance, money, wealth, love. But you have to make peace and you have to let go of the need to compete. Let go of the competitiveness. This is about being kind and gentle and loving Okay, the Empress is unconditional love. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, but this is somebody who um, doesn't judge. So anyway, I think that you, this is a new beginning for you. It is a beautiful new beginning. You're receiving an offer that you did not expect. You didn't see it coming. This offer is coming. Okay. And it feels like it has something to do with travel. Maybe you're, maybe this is at a different location. Maybe this is moving somewhere, you know, moving someplace else. This is leaving home, packing up, leaving home, leaving behind a relationship, maybe with a king of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel as though you are going to be starting a new life. This is the beginning, okay? It is the very beginning. I think that you are going to be guided in a new direction. You're going to be getting help from somebody that you don't expect. I feel like there's a nurse here. And I also feel like this could lead to love, okay? A new love, a new opportunity that could lead to a new relationship, a new love relationship, and a new uh, job even. This leads to wealth. It leads to abundance. But you have to let go of the need to control. And you have to accept change. I feel like the, 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 that you've been trying to, you know, stay doing what you've always been doing. 
Change is part of our evolution. It is part of our growth. You've been in some sort of pain because the Empress has to deal with pain to get a blessing. It's time to release that pain and get your blessing. But but if you're angry and you're fighting and you're... Uh, oh, what's the word for it? You hold grudges against people. That's not healthy. It's not. I see. Un, that's not healthy. That's an unhealthy mindset. I feel like you're going to be moving somewhere. And I feel like you're going to get an offer from somebody that is in a different location. And this offer um, will bring you a lot of happiness. But you will have to leave behind a relationship that uh, isn't happy anyway. It's not happy. It's not. But you've been refusing to get on board. You've been refusing to let go. You've been refusing. You don't want to deal with the pain. Well, it's time to deal with the pain. So this week, you're going to be getting an offer from somebody. My advice is to take it. It leads to victory. Good luck.